5% of folks came to worship the Lord. For the other 5% of you, you just watch us while we worship the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. I know you probably had a lot of things going on this week, some good, some bad, but no matter what you've been through, this is the best place in the world I can imagine for the saints of God to come together. A lot of crazy things going on in our world today, but the best thing, the good news is, is that the Lord is still high and lifted up. Uh, as Isaiah said, his train filled the temple, and I'm looking forward to God doing some great things here this morning. I never know exactly how God's going to move, what he's going to do. There's been times before, I, boy, I thought to myself, surely, we're, you know, we're just going to preach a little bit. We're going to have a little altar service, and then, bam, all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost moves and never even get around to the preaching or vice versa. So you never know what the Lord's going to do. I realize we have a lot of folks that are not here this morning. But I've come to worship God and give God my best no matter who came or who didn't come because I found one thing to be true. The Lord still wants me to be faithful and continue in this fight no matter what anybody besides me does. Oftentimes whenever I look at the number and I look at how limited and how that some have just seemed to fall away in this last day and sometimes you feel like you're fighting all by yourself. Has anybody ever felt that way? But a lot of times whenever that comes to my mind, I cannot help but go back into the history and uh, remember Shama. I think a lot of times about Shama defending that patch of lentils or patch of peas there while that the other folks that uh, grew it and the people that planted it and possibly watered it, they went the other way. They ran, and he fought for something that the people wouldn't even fight for. And that really says a lot. One man standing against a whole host of Philistines and a patch of peas. Anybody ever felt like that? Well, sometimes you might feel like that, but as the old song says, one man in God can still win the victory. I'm looking forward to it this morning, still feeling the anointing of the Holy Ghost in my life, and I'm thankful for that. One preacher told me several years ago, he said, Brother Myers, he said, you'll face a lot of trials, tribulations, storms, battles, you name it. He said, but as long as the Spirit of God is still moving, he said, everything will be all right. You know what? I found that to be true. How many knows that the Lord is still ministering, still moving, still mighty, still able, still capable? Our God didn't come in here this morning hobbling on crutches this morning. He came in here strong and mighty. And that's the God we're serving this morning. How many we stand our feet this morning? Let's go to him in prayer and let's just ask him to move mightily in this place. And I'm going to ask you to obey the Lord. Take all the stops off. You know, in other words, just let God have his way in this service. If the Lord speaks to you to do something, you obey the Lord. That will be more important this morning than any agenda. I could give you an itinerary and say by 12 o'clock we're going to be doing this and at 9.30, 10.30 we're going to be doing this. All of that stuff may have its place, but I'd rather see the Holy Ghost have his way. So if you feel the Spirit of God moving in a song and you feel like praying, I'd rather you pray than just sit there and wonder what to do. How many is going to obey God this morning? Amen. I want you to pray for yourself. Pray for those around you. Let's pray for the spirit of revival to be in this place. Lift your hearts and your hands before the Lord, and let's begin to pray. Father, this morning, we thank you for this great opportunity to be in the house of God. We pray this morning that your spirit will move mightily in this place. God, we want to feel the presence of God. We want to know that you're in our midst. We pray, God, that your will will be done. Every sinner, every saint, every bound person will experience a great touch from the master's hand this morning. We know that you are the potter and we are the clay. We pray God as we put ourselves on that potter's wheel that you'll begin to mold and shape us, this service and everything exactly the way that you foreordained it to be and we're going to give you praise and glory and honor for all the good things you do. Bless our hands to bless others. Bless our lips to bless others and I pray that in the end that you'll receive all the honor and glory for everything that is done in this place. And all of God's people can say amen. 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 How many's ready to worship the Lord? If you will, come and join us in the choir this morning. We're going to worship the Lord. I appreciate we've got some folks here this morning going to help us out with some of our music. Got different ones that are out. We just jump right in here and worship God together. How about it? Come on, let's lift up the Lord. the Lord. I don't have a choir leader here, so I'm going to try to sing a few things this morning.
Sister Nora is going to lead us in a congregational. <laughs> Anybody here got the victory this morning? Sister Hallelujah. Wilma, Amen. won't you testify? Yeah, testify for the Lord. I want to hear what you got to say. Amen. I believe you can jump high when, when you're not living low. Come on. Amen. How many is ready to worship it? Page 300, we're going to try it in the key of C. We shall see the King. How many is looking forward to seeing the Lord? Been many times he's blessed us and helped us, healed us, done a lot of things. And uh, one of these days we're going to actually get the look upon his face. I'm really looking forward to that day, aren't you? You know, a lot of people have depicted him in pictures and paintings and things, but one of these days we're going to get to really know what he, look, or he really looks like. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all ready to sing? Amen. There's a blessed time coming, coming soon. It may be evening, morning, or at noon. The wedding of the bride united with the groom. We shall see the King when He comes. Well, we shall see the King. We shall see the King. We shall see the King when He comes. He is coming in power. We'll hail the blessed hour. We shall see the King when He comes. Are you ready should the Savior call today? Would Jesus say, well done, or go away? My home is for the pure, the vow can never stay. We, we shall see the King when he comes. Come on, sing it with me. We shall see the King. We shall see the King. We shall see the King when he comes. He is coming in power. We'll hail the blessed hour. We shall, we shall see the King when He comes. Sing that again. Oh, we shall see the King. We shall see the King. We shall see the King when He comes. He is coming in power. We'll hail the blessed hour. We shall see the King when He comes. Oh, my brother, are you ready for the call? your Savior, King, and Lord of all. The kingdoms of this world shall soon before him fall. We shall see the King when he... Come on, sing it. We shall see the King. Oh, we shall see the King. We shall see the King when he comes. We shall see the King. If you're looking forward to seeing them sing it. Oh, we shall see the King. We shall see the King. Oh, we shall see the King when He comes. He's coming in power. We shall see the King when He comes. Sing verse 1 one more time. Blessed time coming, coming soon. Well, it may be evening, morning, or at noon. The wedding of the bride united with the groom. We shall see the king when he comes. Sing it, choir. We shall see the king. Oh, we shall see the king. We shall see the king when he comes. Oh, we shall see the king when he comes. We shall see the King. Oh, we shall see the King. We shall see the King. Oh, yes, Lord. If 
you're looking forward to seeing the king, raise both hands and just give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, we can give him more praise than that. Hallelujah. Page 116 this morning, we're going to sing Getting Ready to Leave This World. I know one of these days we're going to make this a reality, and we've been singing this for a long time. How many has been singing about getting ready to leave this world? Every once in a while we'll throw in that little verse, a little part, and we'll say, I'm already ready. How many's already ready this morning? Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Let's try to sing that in the key of G this morning. Up my treasures in that home above, trusting fully, trusting in my Savior's love. I'm doing what I can for heaven's holy dove. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl, keeping my record right. Well, I'm trusting in the riches of his saving grace. In each earth the trial by his love can trace. Sure that up in heaven I shall find a place. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. To prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. If it were not true, I would have told you so. Sure that up in heaven. Chorus. I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right. I'm watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. All right, here you go. I'm already ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm already ready for the gates of pearl. Well, I've got my record right, watching both day and night. I'm already ready to leave this world. Well, I'm already ready to leave this world sorrow. I'm already ready for the gates of pearl. Well, I've got my record right, watching both day and night. I'm already ready to leave this world. Are you ready, Sister Benefield? <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. If you're ready in the Lord, shout praise the Lord this morning. Amen. One of these days we're going to make this thing a reality. We've been singing about it, and some of you is closer than you've ever been. And all the time that I've been serving God, I'm, I'm one thing I've noticed and with the saints of God, as they get closer, a lot of times they seem to talk a lot more about heaven. Is that right? Anybody ever notice that? Whenever you got a saint of God that been serving the Lord for many years, it seems like the closer they get to home, the more they talk about home. You see, the more you get uh, closer that you get to home, to me it just seems like you begin to realize that a lot of the things in this life are vanity, and there's something greater that is awaiting you. And I remember my grandmother, she passed away not too long ago, I remember her laying on the bed, and she looked at me, and she had the biggest smile on her face. She was in the process of dying, and she wouldn't say very much. Every once in a while, she would come to. They had her on heavy dilated, and so there was a lot of things going on with her. But every once in a while, she would come to, and she would look at us, and she might say something or she might not. And I remember one of the times she opened up her eyes, and she looked at me. She used to call me JoJo. She said, there's my JoJo. She said, baby, she said, it ain't like they think it is. She said, it's a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, aren't you? I don't know about you, but when I get to thinking about going home to be with the Lord and all the battles and trials and junk we go through all the time, it just makes me want to be there right now. How about you? Amen. Amen. 
Turn to page 88, if you will. I want to sing, I'm going that way. We're going to try it in the key of G this time. So we'll see if we can get this. I apologize. Since Tracy's not here and she normally helps us with this, she's going through a lot right now, her being pregnant and them trying to move. So you do keep them in prayer in the key of, key of G. I've heard of a land of joy and peace, wonderful line, beautiful place of mansion fair and skies of earth bright. Those who believe in the Savior, dear, forever shall stay. Having been saved by grace divine, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. I'm clinging to Him and never to stray. I'm singing His praises all day long. I'm going that way. The glorious news I tell and sing, onward I go. That those who are still astray in sin, the Savior may know. Sing His praise above some beautiful day. Glory to him who died for sin. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. I'm clinging to him and never to stray. I'm singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. I know I shall meet him at the gate. Trials are past. I know I shall meet him face to face in glory at last. And oh, I believe that when Oh, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. I'm clinging to him and never to stray. I'm singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. Help me sing it. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. Savior, I adore is with me each day. I'm clinging to him and never to stray. I'm singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. I know I shall meet him at the gate. Trials are past. I know I shall meet him face to face in glory at last. Oh, I believe that when we meet, well done, he will say. For trusting in his soul redeeming love, I'm going that way. Come on, sing it. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. I'm clinging to him and never to stray. I'm singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. Well, I'm clinging to him and never to stray. The glorious news I tell and sing as onward I go. That those who are still astray in sin, my Savior may know. I want them to sing his praise above some beautiful day. Glory to him who died for sin. I'm going that way. Come on, let's all sing it. If you're going that way, can you say, thank God this morning he made a way. How many knows this morning that he has provided, he's made a way for each and every one of us. Amen. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise this morning for all that he's done? Praise you, Lord. Appreciate the choir this morning. We're going to let them go ahead and go sit down if they like. And I uh, just want to thank you for being in the house of God this morning. And I don't know, I may, I may get it wrong, but I think I, I might can take a stab as brother Oodle, 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 Oodle. Oodle. we'll get it somehow another, praise the Lord, hallelujah, 
<laughs> Hold on, right? Oh, boy, I tell you what, I say it seven times, they say you get it right. But it's good to have them. Give them a hand, the family. they got some folks that came this morning. Appreciate them for helping us out. And uh, we've been musically challenged for a little while, but I thank the Lord whenever he sends folks by to help us out. It sure makes a big difference. And uh, I, like, I used to like it where I didn't have to do really anything and just kind of stand over there and worship and get in, maybe sing every once in a while. It made it a lot easier, but, uh, you know, we just go with the flow, and we just let the Lord do whatever he wants to. Fill in the gap, make up the hedge, do whatever you got to do. But uh, so glad as a pastor to see you here this morning. Thankfully that you showed up to the house of God. A lot of times you have to push all your ailments and things to the side, come to the house of God, and uh, sometimes it's a great sacrifice to be here. A lot of times you come to the house of God, you're sick. Maybe you got things going on at home that nobody knows anything about. Maybe you're struggling with some things that... Uh, you maybe don't even want to talk about. A lot of times people put on a, a smile, and underneath that smile there's some hurt and pain. Nobody really realizes how bad the hurt and pain is. But I want to encourage you to know this this morning. The best place in the world that I can possibly imagine is to be in the house of God. Amen. Sometimes the Lord will come by with a gentle salve, and sometimes God may come by and he may, he may chastise you. He may get on to you and say, listen, son or daughter, the reason you're in the place you're in is because of this or that. But the, but the Lord's mercies are tender, and I believe he's always good to us and to direct our paths and our steps and to bring us to the place we need to be. So I want to tell you this morning, if you come to the house of God and you're in a place, a difficult place, I want to, I want to let you know that you're in the right place because I believe God can turn some things around for you this morning. And uh, when I woke up this morning, a lot of things in my own life, you know, you battle with different things. and. The enemy coming against you in so many ways, physically, emotionally, just so many things. But I've got my mind made up. It's being steadfast. You can't quit. The last couple of services, last Thursday night, I preached a little along the lines. Thursday before that, I preached on uh, a mission with opposition. And if you ever thought that you were going to sign, sign up to serve God, and you agreed, to, well, I'm going to serve him until the day I die. It's just like a soldier who thinks he's going to go into battle and never have a bullet fired possibility of never being in a combat zone when you sign up you know that it, it could get rough at times and uh but when you sign up it's just like a marriage it's till death do us part how many of this morning can really testify to the fact that your relationship with the lord at times has really been tested by the enemy the enemies come against you but thankfully you're still here today you're still here today you're living proof that it's possible and it's a good testimony to those around you that even in the midst of hardships that you can make it. I've seen a lot of people. We're living in a day where there's a lot of things going on, a lot of churches suffering from things, problems, and issues. And there's still a band of people that still love God so much that they're not going to let anything that they're going through or have been through keep them from doing what God called them to do. I've told, I've told people before as a pastor if the church of God decided, you know what, you don't run 200 people, we're shutting your church down. Guess what? I wouldn't. That wouldn't be the end of my ministry. It might be with them, but it wouldn't be the end of my ministry because right. they're not the one who called me. Amen. God is the one that called that's me. Exactly right. And if the Lord told me to take a sign and stand on a corner, and that's what he wanted me to do, guess what i got to do? Right. So how many knows this morning you got to be faithful to the end? You can't Amen. quit. You can't give up you got to keep on going. Preach this last Thursday night if you weren't here on the cost of fainting. And I tell you what, there's a real high cost involved whenever you faint. But the Bible says this to us. It said, we shall reap if we faint not. So, folks, let's stay in the fight. How about it? How many is going to keep on fighting? Amen. Don't have any specific announcements this morning. I don't know of any birthdays. If you had a birthday and we missed it, please uh, forgive me. Uh, we're in a little bit of a lull right here because my wife is usually the one that really helps me out with a lot of things, and she's out of state. Uh, Caleb's graduation was yesterday, and uh, she, her and Sister Linda were there, and uh, they were able to enjoy that together with them. I'd have liked to have been there myself, but i got to hold down a full-time job, and so i got responsibilities and things I have to do. But I'm thankful they were able to enjoy that. You continue to pray for my family. The Lord will just use us in a great and mighty way. Pray for my wife and Sister Linda on their travels back, that they'll be safe because uh, she's the thread that holds the family together, and we'd all be in a mess if anything happened to her. So you just pray for your pastor's wife, that the uh, Lord will just be with her. A lot of other different people going through things. I've had phone calls of uh, folks that are sick. 
some that are really battling with some things the enemy's really come against them with. And I'll just put it this way. Pray for your church family because we're living in difficult times. You know, it's easy sometimes for people to say, well, I told you that was going to happen. I said that would be what happened. You just wait and see. Put all that crazy stuff aside and just have compassion and pray for folks. Isn't that what we should do? Just have the same compassion on people you'd want them to have for you. But uh, appreciate Sister Jackson for helping us this morning as well. She's such a jewel. She got to hear me preach the first time I ever got anointed. She probably don't even remember, and I wouldn't blame her if she did. But uh, preached here about eight years for Brother Sanger before I uh, came to pastor here when Brother Sanger was here, and uh, she's a very valuable asset to this church, and I just always want to make sure we let her know we appreciate her for doing what she's doing for the kingdom of God. Amen. What an important role and part that she plays along with uh, my son and other others that are doing the will of God. We're going to come to you this morning to receive the morning tithes and offering. We want you to just give as given unto the Lord. Uh, we faced a lot of financial difficulties, and uh, we just want you to give as given unto the Lord because I know if you'll be faithful, somehow all of the things that we fight and face financially, that the Lord will take care of all of that. And that's, that's our responsibility as a child of God. I'm not just old school. I just believe in the Bible. I believe in doing what the Bible says to do and be faithful in our giving to the Lord. And that is something that God has told us to do. If you will, we're going to have you stand for the Lord this morning. And uh, if we can get Sister Jackson, you got a little song or something you'd like to play for us this morning, uh, get something together. We're also going to do our missions march. Brother Hanks just recently put out a newsletter of some of the goings-on and the different accomplishments that they've been able to make. And I want to say thank you to the Gray Street people that have given in missions. And uh, sometimes it's fun to watch these little kids go around and collect uh, what Brother Smith used to say. They, 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 he thought they could, uh, what was that, take up enough to, to cover their national debt or something. But uh, I'm thankful for these little ones, and sometimes it's fun. But the, the greatest thing is, is what you don't realize, all your quarters and your dimes and your nickels and your dollars and different things that you give in the missions offering, it really does accomplish a great deal of things. Uh, overseas and there's a lot of missionaries that do things and it becomes more like just a vacation but those of you that know brother hanks he's a man of god and i believe that the, f the funds that we put in his hands and trust in his hands to make sure the mission work goes forward i believe we can have confidence that it, great things are being accomplished so thank you for your giving so while you're on your feet just pray and ask the lord what he would have you to give this morning i don't want you to just grab whatever you may grab a 20, and God said, no, I want you to give a 10. Or you might grab a 20, and he said, no, get that 50. So I don't know. But uh, we want you to obey God. That's more important than anything. So if you will, bow your heads this morning. And um, Brother David, would you like to say the blessing or the offering this morning? Amen. Everyone, if you will, mosey on around and put your offering in the pan while you're at it. Fellowship a little bit with one another. He's God on this platform. He's God back at the door. He's God in the amen corner. He's God all over this floor. I know God is God. And God will never change. I know God is God. And he always will be. God when the lightning flashes, he's God when the thunder throws, he's God way up in heaven, he's God way down in my soul, I know God, he's God, and God will never change, I know God, 
I don't even know this morning he's always going to be God. I don't care if it doesn't matter what you do, the devil does, it doesn't matter what the world does, Obama does, the government does, he's always going to be oh, God. Yeah. Say amen this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Sister Miranda and I is going to sing a song, and then we're going to try and turn it over to Brother Hodel and his family. Isn't that right? Did I say it right? You know that right, but I didn't know about turning over. <laughs> yeah, we're going to let y'all sing us. Let y'all sing a couple songs. How about that? You okay with that? Praise the Lord. I'm sure you got a couple special songs up your sleeve. How many wants to hear them sing this morning? Amen. Amen. It'd be all right. I think they just y'all can just line up up here and y'all can take turns singing if you want to. It'd be all right. Hallelujah. Amen. While we're getting ready, Brother Steve, would you like to come and uh, share? Take, I've come too far to turn back now. Every battle I have fought will soon be for God. Train this so cross it for a crown. Well, I started out with the main of mine. One day cross, finish line, pressing toward the mark, toward the prize. At times I've had to stand my ground. Satan tried to turn me around. I will not be hindered by his lies. Well, I'm not going to walk away. I've got too much at stake. I've come too far to turn back now. Well, every battle I have fought will soon be forgotten. I'm trading this old cross in for a crown. I can hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to, to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known to be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our faith. I hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known that will be held at God's royal throne. Be rewarded for our faith. Let's try this again. I can hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known. that will be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our faith. And I can hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known. that will be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our faith. So I'm not going to walk away. I've got too much at stake and I've come. 
too far to turn back now. Yeah, every, every battle, battle that, that I have fought will soon be forgotten. I'm trading this old cross here for a crown. Well, I'm not going to walk away. I've got too much at stake. I've come too far to turn back now. Oh, every, every battle that I have fought will soon. Be forgotten, I'm trading this so cross here for a crown. I started out with a made of mind to one day cross the finish line, pressing toward the mark and toward the pride. Oh, at times I've had to stand my ground. Oh, Satan tried to turn me around, but I will not be hindered by his lies. Sing it with us. So I'm not going to walk away. I've got too much at stake. I've come. Too far to turn back now. Well, every battle I have fought will soon be forgotten. I'm trading this old cross here for a crown. I can hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known. Gonna be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our Sing it again. I can hear the angels cheer me on. See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known. Gonna be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our faith. Well, I'm not. Gonna walk away, I've gone Too much at stake, I've come Too far to turn back now well, In every battle I have fought Will soon be forgotten I'm trading this old cross in for a crown Come on and wave your hand and give the Lord praise I can hear the angels cheer me on See the ones that have reached home. They now wait for us to win this race. It's a banquet like we've never known. That'll be held at God's royal throne. There will be rewarded for our faith. So I'm not going to walk away. I've got too much is taken up home. Won't you stand here and lift your hands? Right now. Come on, let's stand across the house and of the Lord and lift your hands and give it praise. Every battle will soon be forgotten. I'm trading this old cross here for a crown. Well, I'm not going to walk away. I've gone too much at stake. I've come too far to turn back now. Well, every battle I have fought will soon. Be forgotten, I'm trading this so cross in for a Woo, Hallelujah. Oh, I'm not going to walk away. I've, I've come got too much at stake. I've come too far to turn back now. Oh, every, every battle that I have fought will soon be forgotten. I'm trading this so cross in for a crown. Hallelujah. I started out with a made of mind. One day cross the finish line. Pressing toward the mark and toward the prize. At times I've had to stand my ground. Satan's tried to turn me around. How many's ever had the devil try to turn you around? But I'm not turning around this morning. I'm fighting. I'm going to walk away. I'm gone. Too much is taken. I'm gone. Too far to turn back now. In every battle I have fought will soon. Be forgotten, I'm trading this so cross in for a crown. Come on and give the Lord praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to make up your mind. How many this morning says, I've got my mind made up? Now, don't tell a lie. Is your mind really made up this morning? You see, I've, I've met a lot of folks that they make up their mind for a little while, but that's not really made up. That's just a case of the do-betters. That's right. But how many of you this morning says, I've, I've got my mind made up? No matter what comes my way, no matter what battles that I face, no matter what storms that I'm going through, 
I just want you to take a minute and lift your hands and worship the Lord. I don't want to get ahead of God this morning. I'm going to take my time. Amen. Just allow the Lord to do whatever he wants to do. Say whatever he wants to say. There may be somebody here this morning that maybe they're going through something or hurting in some way. Maybe you just need a few moments to just reach up and touch the hem of his garment right now. Can you do that, brother? You want to place a little something? Your family want to come on up while we continue to worship the Lord? I just want to take a few minutes. I don't want to rush anything or get ahead of the Lord this morning because he knows everything that we're going through right now. He knows all the hurts and the pains, the sorrows. Maybe you came in this morning. There's some things going on in your family. They're really pulling you down today. Maybe you've been through some stuff that's really just about taking the wind out of your sail. But right now is a good time for you to just reach up and get a hold of the him as a garment. And I read in the Bible about this woman that had an issue of blood for 12 years. I like how the Bible said she said within herself. Used to be a day and time that people think you're crazy when you talk to yourself. If you're going down the road and somebody seen you talking, there was nobody else in the car, they thought you had a strange moment. But listen to me. Sometimes, sometimes, you don't have somebody on your left and your right saying, come on, stay in the fight. Come on, you can make it. They didn't really mean what they said. You're going to be okay. Sometimes you don't always have people on your left and right. Sometimes you got to do like that woman with an issue of blood did when she was on her hands and knees. She started talking to herself. You know what she said? She said, if I could but touch. She was convincing herself that all she needed was to get a handful of that hem of his garment and everything the doctors couldn't do, everything she blew money on, didn't make better. But just the simple touch of one part of his clothes would fix it all. I want to tell you this morning, maybe you're going through some things that nobody don't know anything about. Maybe here this morning you say, Brother Myers, I'm desperately needing some direction from the Lord. I want to encourage you to know that all you got to do is just reach up and get a hold of him of his garment. If you're able to stand, I want you to stand while we worship the Lord this morning. If you're not, I understand, but I want us to just give our absolute best and reverence to the Spirit of the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Y'all sing. In moments like these, I sing a song. Sing it with us. I sing out a love song to Jesus. Say that chorus with us one more time, singing, I, singing, I love you, Lord, singing, I love you, Lord, singing, I love you, Lord. in this morning church oh he's worthy hallelujah I 
feel the presence of a holy God in this place this morning, church. I'm glad two or three of you came to worship him today. And I believe he's coming back soon, church. I remember a song years ago. I think we should try to do that one, Cal. But it says, I believe the time is nearing when it's soon appearing. Church, the day and age that we live in today, hallelujah. I believe this is the rapture generation today. That Jesus is coming soon. Kelly, I want you to sing that song.
one in church. Hallelujah. Just like he said. I said, just like he said. Hallelujah. I remember them angels standing there saying to Brother David, he says, ye men of Galilee, why are you standing up looking? This same Jesus that's leaving in the clouds right now, he's going to come back the same way. Paul says, for the Lord himself, he sees church. He's not sending somebody else. He's coming himself. Hallelujah. And we're going to see him face to face. We're going to be changed. Hallelujah. We're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You know why we're going to see him? Because we're going to be just like him. Hallelujah. These old bodies that fail us every day, I tell you what, church, they're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise in this house this morning. He says, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of an archangel and the trump of God. And the dead in Christ, the ones that have gone before, your mamas and your daddies, your grandparents, your loved ones that knew Jesus, they're going to be heading out and we're going to go up with them at the same time. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah, church. That one makes me want to run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, church. And so shall we ever, never to be separated ever again. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Church, I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Hallelujah. Oh, I believe the time is near. Mm. Jesus. I believe the time is nearing. We're going to soon see his appearing. Yes, we will. This could be the hour. Right today. Church, this could be our day when the saints yes. <laughs> from every nation we're gonna lose all gravitation. Yes, we will. And in the middle of the air be called away. Yes, sing it with us, church. And I, I believe he's coming back like he said. It's gonna sound so loud One day it'll raise the dead In the twinkling of an eye We're gonna split the eastern sky And I believe he's coming back Like he said In the twinkling of an eye And in the twinkling of an eye He'll split the eastern sky And I Somebody give God praise in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, I heard, heard a preacher say one time, he said, that's enough of make a dead mummy over in Egypt. Jump up and yell Pharaoh, huh? Woo! -hoo -hoo. Hallelujah. I believe he's coming back like he said. You know, the pastor said something a little earlier and made me think. He said, you may come in here with a smile. A lot of times there's things going on inside of us that we cover up with a smile. But you know what? God knows where you're at today, church. I'm telling you what, you can fool others, you can even fool yourself, but you can't feel, fool God one bit. He knows where you're at. He knows you so much. He loves you so much that he even counts the hairs on your head. But I want you to listen to words of this song. Johnny's going to sing it for her. It's a song we sang years ago. But I want you to know today, you don't have to leave this church the way you came in here today. Are you hearing me today, church? I believe the anointing of God is in this place. I believe the anointing is on your pastor. I feel the power of God in this place today. And if you're going to leave here today, you're not going to leave here different on your own strength. You're going to leave it on the strength of God. Because you could try to change yourself all the time. 
that's trying to start, try to start your car without a battery. Unless you have the power, you ain't going to do it. But I want to tell you something. There's power today. He says, I will give you power. Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you today. And you can go free today in the name of Jesus. It's your choice. You see, we fail ourselves. God never fails us. You hear me today? We walk out of here today, let God do a work. I'm glad to see there's still altars in the church of God today. Because we've sang in a lot of churches where the altars are out. And I'll tell you what, I thank God that we can still find them in an old-fastened altar today. Hallelujah. Tear-stained altars, people praying, people being changed through the power of a holy God. And you can go free today in the name of Jesus. Listen to the words this song says, I can still go free.
Somebody give the Lord a hand in this house this morning because you can be free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel somebody's being ministered to today, church. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord, I feel your awesomeness in this place. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Lift your hand up one more time and worship him in this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you're awesome in this place. Oh, God, singing, I love. Do you love him this morning? You, Lord, singing. singing I love you Lord
Thank you, Jesus. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name, Lord God Almighty. Give this family a hand. Let them know you appreciate their help this morning in ministry. One of the greatest things we could do is.